All right. Good job, man. Oh, no. What did I do? Good job, man. I want to job, man, with you. <laughs> you got a good voice, James. Oh, what are you, well, thanks. Frank. What are you drinking? Um, I'm actually drinking some uh, Haritos mango flavored soda with real sugar. Mmm, sounds delicious. How do you stay up? It, like, it must keep you up at night. I'm drinking Back in Black uh, 21st Amendment uh, Brewery. It's the wow, best. Wow, that's a great name. It's a, what's a, it's a dark IPA. Hi, and welcome to Seattle's number one pod... Oh, no, I blew it. Hi. That's an amber. <laughs> no, it's an IPA. Oh, no, it's an amber, I heard. No, it's IPA. Black <laughs> IPA. 6.8. Percent. Ooh. Hi and welcome to Seattle's number one comic book podcast, the podcast that is dedicated to beer tonight and uh, flavored soda. I'm James. I'm Larry. Yeah, you know those Haritos? You usually get them in like a glass, uh, glass bottle. They're like a Mexican soda. Oh, purple or, or uh, orange is my favorite. Yeah, that's, that's the one I'm drinking right now. I love those. Actually, I'm, there's two kind of orange ones, and I like the other one, not mango, better. Where did you uh, where did you find that? Like, did you find that in some like fancy store? No, in the in the unfancy stores. Oh. Uh, you go to like a, a grocery outlet or a Winco or a uh, what's the one I got? I got this one. Where did I get this one? Uh, whenever I see it, I buy a couple. Oh. What is it, Larry? We're out of control. I, I got a little bit of buzz on the phones, and then I was like trying to adjust it, and then now we're listening to heavy rock. <laughs> Your heavy rock station. Let's just get into the show, man. All right, uh, like this tapping will I'm go James. away. I'm I'm, I'm Larry, and tonight we are talking about uh, an apocalyptic uh, horror book called oh. Reed Gunther. <laughs> What? That's a joke. It's a joke. Oh, you tricked me, Larry. I'm like, oh no, did I read the right thing? This is the most feel good, all ages book that I think we've ever read. Yeah, is I think it's more all ages than Lumberjanes. Or well, I don't know. Lumberjanes is pretty childish. Well, we might get um, into this a little bit because I thought some of the, um, well, yeah, when when we talk about it. So uh, and uh, uh, Axe Cop, although it was written by a child, it was very mature themed right so there's there's death in axe cop lots of death yeah lots of violence too and yeah. and uh and there's some violence Lum and death in reed gunther what not human death oh okay yeah i guess that's true cows and, yeah cows Lumber and snakes James, die there's no death except for animals yeah so i think i think lumberjanes might be more might be more G. I think they're both G. Would you say this is a G comic? Rated G? I don't know, dude. There's some violence. I was I was surprised at the second reading of this when I saw a few panels that went into a violent nature. There were some action action scenes. There were some action scenes and uh yeah, we'll we'll talk about it. We'll get into it. But uh what's the line between G and P G? I bet you there's a percentage of um S kicking. S words, A words. There's definitely no F words. Yeah. Uh so yeah. Um uh, I bet you if you Googled it, like there's probably like there 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 has to be some sort of like you know, like, oh, that was a butt cheek. Yeah, exactly. The new PG <laughs> PG right, thirteen. Uh, before we get into Reed Gunther, uh, do we have a recent and decent for this week, Larry? Yes, sir. And I am. I'm gonna put some. Uh, I'm gonna put heavy guitar. Uh, heavy guitar. No, this is some sultry. I don't even know what I'm doing. Let's make love tonight. It is some sultry uh, ooh, ooh, ooh. pop, but uh, uh, uh. this book does not call for sultry pop this book and this is going to turn our show into an explicit it is recent and decent it's t-e-o-t-f-w which 
is the ac- is uh what is it the acronym for the end of the fucking world holy larry yes this is a graphic novel written by charles forsman and it's drawn by Charles Forsman, and it's done in an almost Beetle Bailey style of art. Oh, I like black Beetle and Bailey. white, and it's just been—it's been already—it's been already been made into a uh, television program for Netflix. Well, it's—it's—it's—it's uh, it's, it's, it's been made into a television program for uh, uh, BBC, and Netflix has acquired it, so we're going to see it soon. Oh, yeah, Netflix really flips them. And what this is, is, so it came out in 2013. It's $17.57 on the, on the Amazon Prime, which, so it, it, it's, it's a hardcover. I bought it hardcover. And it is a teenage angst story of, uh, of, it's also kind of a, um, uh, rom com? No, it's it's not it's not romantic. It is mm. it is um sci uh, It's 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 the harboring of violent fantasies in one young boy who feels that. Oh, like well, Flex Metallo? No, no, no. This is this is dark. It's teenage angst. And it's the feeling of nothingness, and you're, there, there's, there's, there's parts wasn't of this. That, wasn't that the with Flex Metallo? Who oh, was like yeah, yeah. Suicide, right? Yeah, yeah. So there's that. This alter ego where he was a, he played out his fantasies in his mind. That is that, is is that a, kind of what you're talking that about. That is kind of where this one goes. T e o t f w. This <laughs> is a. <laughs> Full he just length. doesn't create a uh, flex metallo type character. He no, he it, uh... he takes it into the reality, and him and his girlfriend. Uh, so the main Ooh, characters, la, la. Hit, the main characters Is she are uh, well. It's hard to tell who's pretty and with this type of art, like it, it's oh, I like, like a, that. It's black and white. Oh, and it almost looks it like just flipping through it, you'd think it was cutesy. But there was mm-hmm. nothing cute about this story, and the pulse of it is, um, is is no, just like not. it's no, you don't. And I'm it, uh, I, I'm saying I I'm don't. You know that I don't. It's I'm saying it's recent and decent because uh-huh. it's decent. But it is, it is, <laughs> it is. Um, it's just so doomy for doomy's sake. Uh, like nothing good comes out of the characters here. It's, like it's not it's, like uh, it's catcher uh, in the rye. Unfortunate events. Say, that, say that again. Did you, ever, did you ever read the series of unfortunate events or see the movies with? Uh, I think it was Jim Carrey, right? Oh right, right. Yeah, I have seen that. Yeah, it's kind yeah. of in that same vein. Like this is catcher in the rye. Basically, it's this kid who cannot, um, like just things aren't. Like just, just nothing. Nothing clicks. Nothing clicks, and 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 he takes his girlfriend on this ride of nothing clicks. It was. I'm glad I read it. It oh, is yeah. very much on a lot of people's to read list. In their like uh, bubble. In their bubble. But at the same time, I'm recommending it because. It, it's, it's it's recent. It's recent. It's decent, but it's 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 got some real downer beats to it. Uh, James and Alyssa are the main characters in this book. Oh, now I like it. Ah, they got great names, right? Yeah. All right. <laughs> so, um, check it out. Uh, recent and decent. Uh, end of. Hundred and three percent. The fucking world. <laughs> All right, so should we get into Reed Gunther? Isn't that funny that I bring the show down with that, and then we're going to talk about Reed Gunther, yeah. the most feel-good it's book ever, ever. It's very, it's very colorful, but like pastel colorful, would you say? Yes, pastel colorful, colorful, and oh my god, and cartoony is all get out. 
It is so yeah. cartoony. Would you? It. It's it has its own style, but it seems very similar to a couple. Like I couldn't I couldn't put a pin on what kind of cartoon like TV show or something that I've seen that kind of reminds me of this. Um, maybe it's uh it's got kind of a the it was like kids in the tree treehouse kids or something like that. Oh, I don't uh, I don't know what kids in the treehouse is, but. I love this bear. <laughs> <laughs> the bear is good. The bear so, is good. Uh, it's a, uh, <laughs> we got a Western here and uh, we got our cowboy character and his partner is a bear. Sterling um, is the name of the bear. Sterling's the name of the bear. What's the name of the cowboy? Reed Gunther. Gunther. Oh yeah. There we go. So Gunther cowboy. Uh, he's kind of our, uh, lone gunslinger uh riding into town to solve a problem and riding out to greet the sunset type uh story we got here he rides uh, the bear he rides the bear though instead of a horse isn't that cute yeah, i love it <laughs> so on the front cover we see him riding the bear and uh he's got a gun in his hand and he's got a lasso in his hand and there's like a giant snake type creature. I couldn't tell it was a snake that well at first because its teeth were kind of weird. Yeah, it covers the whole uh, the whole back of, of like the background is all, yeah, it's all green. The background is snake. Is all snake. And uh, he's like lassoed part of the like fang, and he's riding the bear, and he looks like he's about to say yippee ki yay. Yeah, he's having fun. Yeah. Um. And the title kind of gives a, 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 a taste of the tone. Uh, it's Reed Gunther and the Steak Snacking Snake. <laughs> Say that again. <laughs> yeah, steak Snacking Snake. Took me a, it takes concentration. It takes concentration. Um, I really, really enjoyed rereading this. And I've, and I've read the two trades that are available. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I love all the characters. I love the bear the most, and mm. um, it's a it's a very simple plot. Simple is what, yeah. Uh, it's I I like it. It's a one shot essentially in that it's the prob the conflict is created and resolved all in the is- in the one issue, um, which I like that style when it's uh sometimes yeah, and I liked it in this situation, um. So what's our what's our conflict here, Larry? Well, I, first of all, I want to talk about a little bit more you about the characters. Uh, well, all ages, because earlier oh. we were talking about is this an all age book? It is an all yeah. age book. It's as all as you, age as long as you're over nine years. As long old. as you can use your eyeballs. Nine plus is what the all ages um, ah. moniker on the front of the page says. So and, that's fourth grade. Uh, fourth grade. So on page. Three of this book, we see the naked silhouette of a bathing beauty. That, I don't know uh, how naked she looks. Well, we don't know, but Reed gets. A, I mean, just by looking at the the silhouette of her, like she's like you can't even really see her curves. You see one, you see like the bottom curve, but that's very casual. The top curves are like covered up by her arms in the shot in the shadow. Sure. Although he does make some kind of mention of it, uh, where he's like acting out, pretending like he's talking to her, like uh, practicing. He says, uh, "Howdy, miss. I see you have no clothes. Uh, <laughs> uh, excuse me, ma'am. You uh, have some dirt behind your nope. Uh, please allow me to." <laughs> yeah. Uh, so he does make a little mention to it, but yeah, that's probably the. That's the most risque part for sure. Risque, but, yes. Yeah, so that make, that means it's not G, for sure it's PG. So that's when uh, Reed meets uh Starla, who is a lady, cow, the, a cowgirl, a lady uh, cowboy as a, I like to call him. A lady cowboy. <laughs> and, lady cowboy. And uh Starla is a rancher. Oh my god, his microphone is killing me. Let Check it, one, two, one, two. Let it pass. Let it pass. I'm gonna have to do some editing. That's all right. I can just hear. No skin off my back. 
So Starla and Reed have a 